Yeah. Your pal Paul on the ball, along with that team, <laughs> good sports in the beach. And good day folks, and welcome. I am Paul on the ball, and all the ladies here, very friendly ladies here, who have been very kind to me, showing me a lot of love. Oh dear me. And now, um, I may have to stop again because I have another call coming up, but we're not going to take that call yet because we're showing you this is the Tortola Pier Park. Right, and um, you see the Pier Park here. We're going right through. So, this is all fairly new to be honest with you, the Pier Park. But it was um, built before the hurricane, 2017. And I have to admit that. Most of these buildings didn't need any kind of work done to it. Here's my buddy there, Ron. Give me a big hello there. Ron is a man. Very cool dude. And he is actually working with frozen some frozen products. So he's delivering frozen products and stuff. Cool guy. Originally Vincentia. Been here for years. And his wife and children here. Probably grandchildren by now, to be honest. So yes, we had the pier park. And as you can see, we're gonna, I'll show you around a bit. So you can get to see what's happening. I am on the shuttle. So the BV, I have a new shuttle. And this is the shuttle. Here now. There's Raymond Chichi Consita. There's all of you, by some of you might know him. And you can see, um, a lot of people going, actually going to the pier park. And I'll show you how there's very big ships coming in. Whatever. So, right now we're leaving. We're exiting the, the pier park. And we are making our way on the shuttle. Take you around town a bit and show you a few uh, parts in town that you can actually get to see. Yeah, there's a little, like a little nightclub there, even though I've had breakfast here now, owned by a gentleman named Bossy. And the, uh, or this by the way, those of you who look at this for the first time, is all what we call we play in the land. As a boy, the, all this here was all water, so now it's actually and to your left also all we claim is the, the muddy i mean this is the the government complex all the built the government buildings are most of them at one point were housed here presently they're all over the shop but um it's been um fixed up now by colin o'neill and his group o'neill group and so they are putting the whole thing back to place so within another year or so hopefully all government buildings will be here so when you need anything you can come straight back here to your left maria's by the sea very interesting place indeed um my dad when he arrived here in 66 january a month before i did um that's where he stayed it was only one little building at the time and he was actually very um instrumental in where it is today he became very close to me and there's my good friend tell her goodbye She's a very nice lady and she told me that my camera was off when I was filming first all the factor. There's the social security building, medical benefits, and the Romney building over here as well. You can see that. So they are on I think it's a So Walter Highway. James Walter Highway. Oh, no. It's the first ever dual highway that was built in the uh, BVI. And now as you go through you're gonna see no, the, the apple store that was further down the road by the Brownie building is now here. There's the Catholic Church here on your right. And um, Mia Mo is actually on our, up here as well. There, there's a nice restaurant, Red Rose here, some nice food. And then there are restaurants down behind here as well. Little Denmark, we'll show you a bit more about them. There's a rent a car place here as well. Right? And you can see on your left side, we'll, we'll show you more about that. All other buildings in town. We just start taxi, taxi building, Caribbean insurers. Of course, Clovers is here, Digicel. There's a trust company there as well. Brand new building, this one, guys. Pretty impressive. Check it out. Yeah. On your left is Patsy Lake, one stop mall. I'm sure you know, remember that. Walkers, again, one of the O'Neill buildings. And Aaron rent a car for those of us the boys, are the boys' um, stables, horses. And uh, Adult Vita. Very popular these days since 2017 with the hurricane. They sometimes have very long lines. Kids go there to get ice cream and they make their own ice cream. They brag that in three days their ice cream cannot be shelved for longer than three days. It means that they're using the best of the best. 
So another O'Neill building here again. And this is also the O'Neill car park, right? Little piece of land here owned by Jerry Ferrara. And then this has actually been bought out recently by um, uh, one of the Syrians here. I'll tell you his name in a minute. Uh, but there's the Hewlett building right there next to you. It was originally that building, believe it or not, that blue building right in front of you was originally owned by the Georges, where people used to go. It was a hardware store. It was the only hardware, hardware store. Rice, well, not just hardware, but also you could get rice flour, sugar, and those other things there as well. Um, you can see right way over to your left. Um, again, all the business. All the yeah, yes, yes, yes. There's somebody saying Paul on the ball here. Let me up. Everything good? What are you saying? And there's a good my good friend again. MC2736 in the house. <laughs> Say hi to the folks. There you go. There you go. This guy's going to be on YouTube. He doesn't even know it. <laughs> so YouTubers, we're looking at them. We're going to. This is the only main street at one point in time. And then you get to have a look. All these buildings are here on the left and right owned by the Georges. So we bought that one from the Georges. The Evans over there. Still all George's buildings here, all George's buildings, still all George's. Michael he recently broke down this one and built a new building here. And this is um, um, Dr. Osborne. Dr. Osborne's place is right there. The Methodist Church on your left. And then coming up to your left as well also is the prison. The original prison when I was a boy, all the prisoners were kept here. And up until 1974, that's where they were hung. Right there where it says do not block is actually where they were hung before as well. Right, again, all, all of these buildings now are no concrete buildings you can see. There is the Anglican St. George's Church, they really missed that one in the process. And here's where Kevin and Wallace used to be. At one point they were only here and they used to be, be the to where they go and make phone calls. Right, um, VP Bank, still there. And you can see this building is now serendipity. Where you can buy books and stuff like that. Roma's is a new restaurant up there. There's Roma's and Little Denmark. Little Denmark, some of you might remember that. And then this was used to be the entrance of the Catholic Church at one point. Now it's where um, you can't enter that way anymore. You've got to end up on the other end. Oh, and here's um, J.S. Archibald's building here. And that's where you can, J.S. Archibald Law Firm is. You can get your medals and, and trophies done on your right hand side over there. And Midtown Restaurant, popular spot. Wanna have some lunch? There's Midtown. Ah, and look. <laughs> One of our good Catholics here. She's saying hi. There she is. She's gonna be on YouTube. And she owns Studio okay. One. So she's probably coming out here. And here we are. See, look, we got Colombians here, buddy. Everybody's here. Everybody wants to be here in the BBI. There you go. Okay. Um, um, Lewis Hunt. That's his little firm there. And of course, Mac Todman. is just around the corner. We're gonna to come to that. Um, a lot of little stores around here on Main Street. The Main Street. There's Mac Todman, you just passed there. And um, the Island Sun. The Island Sun newspaper, which has been here forever since I was a boy. The Island Sun's been there. I remember them being there. Uh, of course, with all these old buildings, they still maintain their ambiance. This is Posses, right here we just passed here on the right as well. And you can see. Lots of other stores. We're going to be passing the old post office in a minute. Right? Uh, you're going to get to see that in a, in, in, in a spot. And um, now there's a um, Chinese restaurant here as well. You can actually stop in here. Yes, they actually make some really nice food there. And on your left here now, you're going to see what you refer to as the old post office. It hasn't been used for years. In fact, it's sort of been a bit of a museum for a little while. Okay, it's J.R. O'Neill's building. So the J.R. O'Neill building and the Skelton building are literally connected. Um, and in fact, Harney's, which used to be, which is, well, it was Harney's, then it became Harney's Western and Regal. Now it's been turned back to Harney's. All rent out both buildings. So every single building is, is now um, been leased by Harney's. Over 160 lawyers there now presently. Pretty fascinating, right? And uh, we're still going down Main Street, going back up to the top of Main Street. And in, uh, in the old days, electricity used to only be on this street. And it was, I think it's 1952 when we got electricity on this street and eventually it spread to the rest of town and then it went out of town. People's Hospital here, this is the original 
Parkview Hospital. My dad was in here in 2012 before he went to Puerto Rico and passed. Paul and the ball, is that you? That's me, darling. Okay, honey. It's good to see you. And um, yeah, there we go. And I'll show you a bit of people as you can see now. It's actually a massive hospital now. But this is the original Peebles right here. You can see it there. That's the original Peebles Hospital. It's on Hospital Road. And there's our security guard up there. She's working hard. And of course, this is owned by the Romneys. They built this one a few years ago, Romasco. I have to show you really quickly down there. Queen Elizabeth II Park. God rest Queen Soul. There's a park named after her. And there's a car park here, of course. It's been there for years outside of the hospital. Central view so you can kind of really get to see this whole area there. Actually, done by Mark Van Der when he was the representative for the fourth district. Um, I think he still is, actually, to be honest. Um, this is all parking area again, like I say, created by Mark. Yes, sir, and you get to see all these different stores in, in town. So, we're now back onto the jewel. Well, we're gonna be entering the jewel carriage for a minute. This is all new, new build up area new land of course in the old days the ships would come into a government house which is just behind there you can see the old government house the new government house is behind that one the white and green building here is the way the boats come into dock in town so all the all the boats in town sensational ferries that is that goes to green star that goes to virgin Gorda. it's a new boat now competing with speedies so they um oh, there's buses in the front by the scene them at the boat bus. So you can get pizzas and go for meals and everything there. And it's bamboo shade. Become very popular. This is a very famous guy here. I think they call him Shadow. I gotta check my mail. Yeah, and uh, Shadow say good morning to the YouTube fans. Hey, Paul on the ball. My brother. Ah, you filming the Capitol? I am filming the Capitol. I see you put up the Queen. I did put her up. So did you sing God Save Our Gracious Queen? Well, we better do, I think, you know. I ain't singing it. Well, God save the people of the land. God save the people of the BBA. Well, well, God bless the we, people of the BBA. We, 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 we sing for the Queen in a respectful way. Yo, yo. yo. Of her passing. All right. The respect for her passing. Over the respect for her passing. All right, sir. As you do for anyone, correct? Well, yeah, there you go. Because I go sing for you too. Yeah, you go sing for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great shadow. Yeah. Who are you yeah. speaking to? YouTube, man. We're the, we're YouTube? We got Uplift the Capital if you want to show us the world. Well, there are people who haven't seen it for quite a while and they're happy to just have a look. We're in Road Town. Road Town. Tell me a bit about Road Town, Shadow. Tell the people something that they don't know. Anywhere here by this. Yeah, oh, go so Shadow is leaving. Alright. So there you go. He's taking advantage of the show. Alright, man. I shall we see you again soon. Right. One love. So he's off the, the, the car rentals. I think he's actually been through this way already. I'm uh, sure it is. Um, RG Hodge Plaza. Mostly just all closed tools up there. There's one stop mall. I'll show you a bit on the left hand side. Have you spent some time over there? Said. And behind there, the back part of Bolos and Bobbies as well. You know, on the dual carriageway, by the way, in case you're wondering. The dual carriageway in town. There's a Dolce Vita. Conyers, of course, they rent um, the O'Neill House, which is called Commerce House. And this is Vanderpool Fan Pharmacy, which was rebuilt after the hurricane. So it's now quite an impressive building. Um, yeah, a nice setup here by Dave Henderson, to be swimming early in this car. M, male, that's, that's what he does in days. Um, that church has been in for years and O'Neill gas station, all here. And now we're going to take you up and show you where the new high school is and the fire station and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to take you right around, folks, and really give you a full view. Fishermen have been there for years, they're still there. There you can go um, to get your pizza, Virgin Queen. Over here used to be Cayman and Wallace, of course, they've moved now, they're down by the Romney building. And you can still come here and get your hair stuff. And there is MoneyGram if you want to send money overseas. That's still there. They're building a new area here. You see in front of you where those red hot and stuff. That area is now going to be the new market area, they tell us. All right, um, next to the Yamraj building, the green and yellow building there. 
CCT boat phone is also here. There's a the fire station to your right. And the new market area, you know, you see the red buses and the green buses. They've all been moved here. Now the government moved them from over by the new market area. So now they have to be here. And here's where they say that they will stay. And uh, we're gonna take a, a, a right here now. Uh, be able to show you quickly to the left area over there. And that is the, the school where it is present. We see the yellow, the big yellow building. That is the high school. I'm gonna show you where the new area is now gonna be built of the high school. Also, there's a little van there, a lady there. She's uh, selling food. A and M. So A and M. You wanna get some food there? And there. A and M. And of course, the House of Assembly. It's been redone for about a third or fourth time in the last two years. Of course, there's a lot of damage from the hurricane. And there behind me is the new high school, guys. That is the new high school. They were trying to get it ready for September, but now they're going to try for December. So for Christmas, by the time we show you that again, that should be fully operational, filled with kids, and of course, UP Cinemax. The main and only cinema in the Virgin Islands. Guys, you want to watch a movie? Here's the place to come. On your right, of course, on your left is the A.O. Shirley Recreation Grounds. On your right is Sol gas station. Get your, your petrol here. And there is the jet track. They put up, after the hurricane, the whole, um, this whole area here was destroyed. Um, and so they put up a new wall. And actually, this is Nibs who actually up to now is yet to afford himself since the hurricane still hasn't reopened as mid but the amigo that's our friend of ours you can see the park in front of you here right um named after jerry o'neill so if you ever want to come and have a look at the park police station all this area by the way was swamp area police station the police station is right here so you can see it's next to the hill shirley ground so there's the police station and this those of you who might have attended this school, the mighty Althea uh, Scandi School, and it's the bad news is that it has been shut down and it's going to be broken down and rebuilt. That's correct, you heard me right. Althea Scandi no longer will exist, unfortunately, because um, there are some structural problems that they're having with the school and it has been decided that it will be demolished and rebuilt. So the mighty Scatlin is no longer going to be housed here, guys. That's your last view of the mighty Scatlin as you knew it. And of course, the vehicle fall on the left is also to be broken down. There's the, the multi-purpose post complex I didn't mention it before, far on your left, right? And the red cross, as we go around and take the corner, right in front of you, there's the Red Cross, and we're gonna be taking a ride right back into town. So we're going from here, we're on the Sir James Walter Francis Highway, the only dual, high, dual carriageway in town. And so you are getting a chance to drive on our one and only dual carriageway in town. And the High Court people is here in this building. I guess the name of the building. I think it's the Yamral, but I probably shouldn't. Okay, it's a, it's a Sakhar place. Sakhar place is that building. And of course, you know, remember, here in recent years is where the festival is. It helps some of the booths to stay up. One is always the last one to come down. So all the other booths have been moved since last month. So this is the festival ground, which will become the parking area for the rest of the year until the government sees it. Otherwise, Cultural offices there, and then you will see there's super value on your left. And you go on your carriageway, and of course, there is youth affairs and sports, the department, education on the top floor, Massa, BNF at the bottom. Here is your um, post office. Post office was moved to here. That's where everything is now. And Siski Boat Homes, one of their branches, is here. And of course, there's, there's Vanderpool. Dr. Vanderpool here this place, along with the, the eye specialist. And on the left is the other Vanderpool store, and of course, Yuppie's supermarket, which is known as Bobby's all the years. There's Mr. Nice Guy, we just passed here, variety store. The deputy governor, by the way, is over here in the Burham building. Bobby's Marketplace. Somebody is telling me hello. So you can actually come here guys by the way 
the left you see all the different plants that they're selling you know sell lots of nice plants and massive parking area on the right hand side you can get food at the back over there food over there as we come into the banks department management on your left over here human resources travel wise and of course upstairs of them is if i remember i'll tell you in a minute national bank is here as well and then all the banks are in this area really so you're gonna see on the national bank there is no Holy Republic Bank. It used to be Scotia before. And what used to be Barclays is now First Bank over here. There's the guys. There's somebody here saying hello. Nice guy. There is Patrick Lake building. There is First Bank. You can see First Bank over here. And we're on the dual carriageway here. There you see the Republic Bank again. Get a look at that. And here, oh, hey, there's no Lloyd Park. No Lloyd Park. We'll try and catch it, get a better look on the other side. This is now full parking area, they've blocked it and fenced it out, so you can't just drive it anymore. And the water hole, a lot of Europeans and English uh, and Americans come here for lunch and in the evenings they come here to have a drink. And then our third bank is Banco Popular, which is the only bank that has a drive through. So they use a bit of a line here at the Banco Popular Bank. Because, uh, on your left, of course, also if you want to um, open a business, you got to come to trade. Right on your right hand side there. You'll see them. So we're just taking a bit of a pause so we're dropping somebody off um, in the shuttle. So of course I am on the Rotown shuttle with my brother. And um, we're just showing you the highlights and a bit of look at town. So in case you haven't seen Rotown for quite a while, you get a full view. Hey, my brother, how are you, man? Yeah, cool, cool. There's some friendly people and now we're gonna go down down to where the big ships come in the cruise ships it's now been renamed the Cyril Romney Park so we're gonna show that to you in a minute oh thank you this is the, you know, the Tortola Pier Park it's on your left there we go and um, that whole area down there with all those red houses all the pier park And the multi-purpose sports complex on your left. I think we have started from here. Yeah. Let me show you right. So if you've done that, the full circle with you. Here we can go and have in the evening and you can also go and have breakfast. And this is the I'll show you the back area, the multi-purpose sports, sports complex. Being rebuilt by Colin O'Neill and his group, O'Neill Group. And they're really getting it back together because all the government buildings finally are spread all over the place. And so now they are making the effort. By the way, if you want to go to, for tests, for driving now, take your test. Here is where they take you to do the cone test now. Right behind there is where you go to do the cone test. And you can see these guys having a look at the complex building now. Examine it. Maria's by the sea. There it is. Maria's by the sea. Stay in the, one of the best hotels on the island. That's probably they probably are ranked number one now, to be honest with you. Probably are one hold hold more than most other hotels here. A lot of talk about new hotels being built, but I think right now Maria's by the Sea uh, holds that. So as you can see, caution: the government complex is under construction, guys, and will be at least for another year or so before. Um, Guest release. Social Security building again on our right. You see a map of Rotown here. The only Rotown Port Holder in the British Virgin Islands, get your wandering. There is First Caribbean. We get a better look at First Caribbean. And uh, okay, okay. Yeah. There is the man himself. <laughs> so we're just gonna close off on this last part here for you. We're gonna go in here. And the way we're gonna finish where we started is where all the guys used to go and drive, fix up their cars, Main Street. Um, there you go. 
And at the end where we started here is the Roman Catholic Church. So folks, we're taking a full ride around Rotom. Hope you're enjoying it. Looking forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Then Rotom will take you maybe to different parts of Rotom. But I am Paul on the ball for YouTube. Blessings to you all. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now. Paul Paul on the ball, along with that, good sports in the beach.